it's pretty funny in my head. Not gonna lie. Welcome back to Rewind with Beachwitty because wine is cheaper than therapy. And we're back. I am really sorry about being gone for so long. Uh, harvest was really weird this year. It kind of it ran long and then I didn't have everything prepped for it. As you may have saw with the Tournament of Power. Uh, things just kind of got away from me. And then it was the holidays and uh, I was sick the first two weeks of January. So things kind of snowballed. I literally... I went to go see Maya Bear in LA in the middle of December and I was on my train ride down to LA. I was typing out my season two outline and it took a little while, but I'm here. I'm back. I'm here. I'm good. We're ready to go. Uh, season two. And yeah, um, here's a picture of me seeing Minus the Bear or meeting Minus the Bear. It's their eighth to last show. It was actually it's really good. Um, yeah, I'll talk. I'll talk more about how, how harvest went on Friday. For right now, it's wine down Wednesday. Everyone, grab a bottle, grab a glass, and uh, let's uh, let's cheers to a new year. Before we get going on this, I just I. I may have succumbed to, to YouTube's fatigue, and that, that was like a big, big trend uh, towards the end of last year. A lot of my personal favorite YouTubers were experiencing this this idea of putting too much uh, time into YouTube that they couldn't get everything that they wanted done in a day. And um, for those of you that remember, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I do this for fun on the weekends. I actually have a full-time job where I'm an assistant winemaker and then I also have a um, personal brand of wine that I need to get off the ground. Uh, so that being said, I'm going to try to hit the Monday, Wednesday, Friday sh schedule like usual. I'm going to plan it out better so that there's no gap in content uh, for you, the viewers. Plus I get to have more fun doing things that I really want to do and I've been dreaming up these crazy crazy things to shoot. Uh, hopefully they um, translate to screen because, well, it's it's pretty funny in my head. Not gonna lie. And of course we'll be doing some educational stuff on Mondays, as always. Just, just, you, just you wait and see. But first, before we toast and have a glass, Let's see what's coming up in February on Rewind with B. Schwitty. Alright. So, we're here at Seven Angel Cellars. I ran into a Joyce locale. Uh, this is Michelle. She does some pretty cool stuff around town. And uh, Nico showed up, finally, uh, to come tasting with us. And, um, what, how do you like Seven Angel Cellars?
you think? Does that make you excited? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to preview each month at the beginning of the month uh, as a way of saying, hey, I've done my work. I have content for you throughout the month. Um, it'll keep me accountable. I'm sure it'll last at least two months. <laughs> anyway, it's Wind Down Wednesday. Cheers. Now, no, I just didn't pick a 2016 Owente, uh single vineyard Chardonnay for fun. We're actually doing Wind Down Wednesday today. We are doing... Well, I was going to do a recipe because it's National Croissant Day. Croissant. 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 I can't say anything right anymore. So it's National Croissant Day. Um, and I thought, why not make some croissants? But then I thought that would be crazy because you could just buy some croissants and instead make a compound butter out of wine and I thought what would go better with some buttery lovely croissants than an oaky buttery California style Chardonnay and we're gonna throw that into compound butter which I will show you how to make right now now clearly I've decided to make compound butter for one very quick and obvious reason so for one clearly obvious reason it's really easy to make all you need is like a mini food processor and some butter And, most importantly, we'll add, well, for my recipe, two tablespoons of Chardonnay, but I'm just going to go, woo. And see what we get out of that. Uh, but my little mini food processor doesn't have a long enough reach uh, to do it right here at the table, so I will be right back. And we're back with our new compound butter. Smells like oaky Chardonnay. Should be fun. Now, let's put it on a croissant, shall we? All right, let's give this a shot. All right, so the butter has just this faint hint of Chardonnay, and it's quite pleasing with the uh, with the croissant. Now, oh man, that's really good. Um, so when you're done making your compound butter, you can wrap it in parchment paper and refrigerate it. Personally, I have a little mold, uh, that you could just put it in. I think it'll be fine like that. But if you're trying to find a way to spice up National Croissant Day... Throw a little wine into your butter and ooh, that's quite good. So that's today's very, very easy wine recipe. Have you made compound butter with wine before? Let me know in the comments below. Um, are you going to celebrate National Croissant Day? I know I am. All right. So again, thank you for coming back and... Uh, being back here with me uh, for rewind. I'm sorry it took me so long to get back here, but I love each and one, of, each and every, love each and every one of you out there. As you can see, we have some fun stuff lined up for the month of February, and some stuff that you didn't even see in the little preview. So stick around. I'll see you in February, which is this Friday, and you don't have to take my word for. Wait. Wrong show. 
This has been Rewind. My name is B. Schwitty. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time.